Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, welcome back uh, to Nerd Enthusiast Poker Podcast and Video. Uh, make sure that you check out our sponsors. We have an official sponsor, The Slot Squad. You can check them out, theslotsquad.com. We have a Twitch channel. We also have all the exclusive signups for all the legal states in the United States right now, including Michigan that just went live just yeah, recently. Buddy. You can sign up there. You get free uh, deposit bonus, all great stuff, theslotsquad.com. Check them out. Stop by. Uh, let us know what you think. All right. Last, uh, well, this is last year by the time you heard all everything, but we did our predictions for the WSOP Hall of Fame, who we thought was going to get in, who we thought uh, had the best chances, and the guy that I picked third at 4-1 to betting out of all, like, whatever it was, uh, 15 or 16 people or whatever, 10, I don't even know. Uh, the guy we picked third, Huck Seed, got in. Uh, we put him at 4-1 to odds. The only person, people we put above him was possibly uh, Lama Karen, Norman Chad, and also possibly Antonio yep. Espandiari. Mm-hmm. But uh, Huxie got in, so let's just do a little quick review. So Huxied, four-time bracelet winner. He is a main event champion, WSP champion, 1996. Uh, 50 finishes in the WSP. Uh, he's currently 51 years old. I think I old. have three. No, I might have one. He has what? <laughs> No, I think I have one WSOP cash. <laughs> <laughs> he's got uh, he's got a couple of World Poker Tour caches, but he looks like he doesn't play most of that. He is a um, player that's grown up. Now, a couple cool things that when I was doing a little research about him, uh, I found out that he was actually a really good basketball player. Uh, there's actually a movie that he was uh, featured in. I think it was called Quantum Hoops, which I plan on watching because it's about college basketball or – Something along those lines. So I'm looking mm. into watching that. But here's the best part that I found. Uh, so since we, by the time you hear this, you maybe have seen our review on Lucky You. But a lot of the stuff in Lucky You is based on Huck Seed. Because, so, yeah, because uh, of his prop bets and all that stuff. Yeah, so yeah, his yeah, name's yeah. what in Lucky You, was it Huck? Huck, or? Huck Cheever. Huck Cheever. <laughs> so I, when I was doing my research, I was like, wait. And then I found out that actually a lot of stuff in the movie was about Huck Seed. So here's a couple great uh, prop bets that I found that he was involved in. So the one thing in that movie was that big golf bet. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. all about him. So basically what he was bet to do was he had to break – that he could break 100 on a desert course four times in one day using only a five iron, a sand wedge, and a putter. <laughs> to, to make so he had to do it four times, four times in one day. One yeah, day, yeah, yeah. but to make it tougher, the guy making the bets got to pick what day it was. So he picked like the hottest, hottest day. day. It was like 120 degrees when he did it, and he actually he did this um, challenge, and he it took him six rounds to do it. That's a long day, man, of yeah. playing golf. So if you watch the movie, that was based on now two bets that also that he had um, prop bets. And he did not. Wait, what do you have to shoot under? A hundred. Dude, I, I, I you're I, only using three like, yeah, clubs. I use my whole bag, and I've never <laughs> shot under a hundred. <laughs> so he had to do it. <laughs> What's that tell you? In a hundred degree weather. That's one hundred twenty degree weather. And do it. So the other ones he had that I found, I was trying to dig up some um, prop bets because he's was a notorious prop better in the day. He made a bet that he could float in the ocean for 24 hours with Phil Hummel. I remember that one. But he failed after three hours. Yeah, I remember that. He failed that one. And he lost, um, it said, I think it says 50000 but I don't know if they bought out or made some kind of deal, but he lost out. Dude, floating for 24 hours Dude, in the ocean? That, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I mean, even on a raft, that's brutal. Like, especially if the sun's pounding on you. Yeah. That's brutal, 24 hours. So just to float for 24 hours? No, nah, that's, that's absolutely brutal. Um, and the other one was... And this one, you think you would think that he'd be able to accomplish it, but there's a, honestly there's a, a reason behind it. So I don't know if he was able to buy out or make a deal. Uh, he had a deal that he was not going to shave his beard for a year, but then someone in his family actually ended up passing away, and he had to go to the funeral, uh, okay. and he ended up shaving for the funeral um, at that point. So uh, there's were a couple of the prop bets that uh, he had been involved in. Uh, his bracelets go. Uh, he won a 1994 $2,500 pot limit Omaha for 167000 He won the 1996 main event, like we said, for a million even. Uh, 2,500 Raz for 77000 uh, Another Raz in 2003, a $71,000 score for that. So, I mean, he's well-rounded. 
uh, well deserved to be. Yeah, in. for sure. I think it's definitely well deserved. I also have the voting breakdown. Where'd that go? I'll get it. Okay. Go ahead. So I have the voting breakdown of uh, how the votes work. So the way it works is everyone gets in the Hall of Fame gets ten votes. Now one person uh, excluded themselves apparently from the voting. So every person in there gets to throw out ten votes, I believe, however they want. So Huck uh, finished up really high with seventy six. And then in second, who I didn't think was going to be this high, was Matt Savage. Matt Savage, tournament director, came with 51. Um, Scheinberg, who is the Poker Stars, uh, the one that started Poker Stars pretty much, he had 45, which was surprising that he was so high. Another one, um, Elia Lezra, was 30 votes. And then came Antonio with 23, 20 for uh, McCarron and Chad, 20 for Ted Forrest. Mike Matisau, 17, Patrick Antonius, 15, and Chris Ferguson, only three votes. I mean, I thought Chris Ferguson was going to have, like, someone, like, really kind of throw it down. But apparently, I mean, the way it looks like this, if he only got three votes, and not only does, like, the poker world hate him, but, like, the insiders. People inside, yeah. They, they're not fans of him. And, I, I mean, for him to only get three votes, I don't know if he'll ever get in. You yeah. Know, at this point, unless I, I don't know, he does something. I'm surprised that Anto Antonio had such a, I don't want to say low number because. I understand they only had like ten, like each person had like ten points, so yeah. to speak. So they could only award a certain amount to to their people. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. But I feel like, like we already we talked about it. Like he, I don't want to say he's the face of poker, but he he seems like he would be someone who would fit the bill now because he's still relevant. He's still kind of in in the game. Like nothing against Huxley. Like I said, I, I, he, well, I, he deserves it. You know, he he ha he has all the accolades or what whatever, but. If you read that list, like, you know, has to have contributed to the game, still be relevant, da 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 da, da. I mean I, I just think I think that, you know, Huck's an old school player. He's been around for a long time, and I think a lot of players like he's a player, you know, the players were like I think they know Antonio is just gonna get in eventually. At some point. So yeah. they're like, Why am I gonna throw him votes? He'll definitely get he's in gonna some get point. In. Let's get Huck in this year, and that's what you know, I think what happened with that. Uh so they were able to get Huck seed in. So um, so yeah, so that is Huxied. He got in there. He hasn't shown much in the last couple years, but he is still playing. Yeah, the movie was called Quantum Hoops. He played for Caltech's basketball team, and apparently there's a documentary on there. So I like when I research this stuff and I find like other movies and things related. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna check this out. Yeah. So uh, maybe in the future I will have a Quantum Hoops review for you. Uh, but apparently he's <laughs> in there at some point, so we'll talk about that. So. Yeah, that's what we got for you uh, for this podcast uh, today. Uh, make sure that you drop that password in to our DMs. Um, uh, yeah, and then also, guys, while, while you're listening to us, be sure to check out uh, our other podcast on Nerd Enthusiast. We have a wrestling podcast. Um, we're looking to get a movie music one up, up and running real soon. So you can find us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, we stream our podcasts on YouTube, Spotify, uh, TikTok. I don't know. Things are everywhere yeah, look, now. You can find us. There. You can Just... find us. Um, but definitely check us out. There, you know, we got a lot of guys, especially with the wrestling podcast. You know, they're they're big into it. If that's something you're into, uh, check it out. They got a lot of good content, and we'll hear from you guys next time. All right, thanks, guys. We'll see you.